I wonder how um, earnings, your view on earnings is, because we're starting to get higher and higher targets. Uh, yesterday, Julian Emanuel put out a target of 6,000 on the S&P. Kind of blew my mind, because he was at 4,750, right? That's a little bit of a capitulation. Um, his basis is that earnings are really accelerating this year and are going to continue to accelerate next year. I think 8% gains for this year and 5% gains for next year was his, um, was his thesis. What do you see in terms of earnings? So I would anticipate an improvement in earnings. It, you know, what we saw recently was that one company was the driver of a significant portion of earnings growth for the S&P 500. So an expectation of a broadening um, does get us closer to his targets. And so I think that's a very possible scenario. Also, keep in mind that if we do see that start of rate cuts, if we start to see the 10-year yield come down, that gives the S&P 500 more room to run as well. Right. So the broadening, uh, I guess, is important, right? We're looking at um, a 24 price earnings for trailing earnings right now, which is historically pretty high. But if you look at just the Magnificent Seven, as they're called, um, they have a P.E. of 36 for trailing earnings. So the, the 493 aren't nearly as highly valued. Absolutely. And so if they're able to contribute more, then that helps justify higher uh, P.E.s. Now, I will say this also uh, argues for investors looking abroad to make sure they have exposure to areas that have far more more attractive valuations. And I think Europe and the UK are attractive destinations because um, they are not only attractively valued, but their cyclical exposure is higher. So if one assumes that we're going to see a reacceleration in global growth, we're going to see a reacceleration in European and UK growth, that's an attractive place to be. Hey, do you still, I mean, I want to talk a little bit about this in the next block, so maybe we'll save that, but do you still um, see uh, a broadening out in terms of regions because we're all worried about, you know, Le Pen uh, winning in France and you've seen yields go crazy over there, um, value, a, 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 a value wiped out from the French stock market. Well, this is certainly a time of uncertainty and instability, but um, once we get greater signs that there could be stability, um, that when we get past this election, things look fairly smooth. Um, I, I think that we'll look back and say this was probably an attractive buying opportunity. I think of this as a very short-term period, um, a blip. But if we look beyond this, there is a lot of potential. And, uh, and I wouldn't want politics to get in the way of investing because the time horizons are so different.